Welcome back. Now, Kurt, going into the break, we saw the Thunder Wolves have some fight in them. They definitely had some fight. That came pretty late in the game. Yes. But, you know, as we were saying, good start to the year, bad yes. as of late. It's been really a roller coaster for the Thunder Wolves. As after jumping out to an impressive 4 1 start to the season, the past five games, all losses, have seen the Thunder Wolves hockey team fall back to earth. But if Saturday night's performance against Brock was a sign of things to come, the T Wolves may just yet prove. They can be much more than just an early season flash in the pan. It was a great night to be at the Garden Saturday as the 2300 in attendance were treated to the Thunder Wolves' most complete performance of the season. A stark contrast from the team that just 24 hours before had found themselves on the losing end once again after lacking any offensive punch over the final 40 minutes of Friday night. Keegan Gary's fourth of the campaign sealed the 4-1 victory and the all-important two points early in the third as Lakehead put an end to their five-game losing skid. Yeah, it's huge. Obviously, we only played 27 games, so it's not a lot. And With only six teams making playoffs, every game's huge, so it was really important that we uh, got off that losing streak tonight. After jumping out to a two-goal lead in the first, Griffin Fox ensured that LU carried that momentum out of the break, beating Mario Pecchia through the wickets for his second shorthanded marker of the weekend. And the 22-year-old credits every member of the pack for their effort from the first shift to the last. We just played a full 60. I think last night played a really good third, really desperate, and I think that's how we played tonight for the whole, whole three periods. So, and everyone was going, which is nice. The lone blemish on the otherwise perfect night came with just 13 seconds remaining as Fort Francis's Cole Timpkin spoiled Max Wright's shutout bid on the Badgers' 35th and final shot of the night, a result that the young keeper could only laugh about post-game. It's a little disappointing that that one got by with 13 and a half left. Or? Yeah, I just, just got to laugh at that. Felt like I had it, but I guess it rolled in. So I think we implemented some, some things that worked really well, and, and we executed them well. So um, defensively, the guys made my job easy, and... Offensively, we were putting pucks in the net, which was really good to see. So, Now back above 500 with a 5-4-2 record, Lakehead will now travel south for a pair of games in Toronto beginning on Friday when they face off with the 8-2 Toronto Metropolitan Bulls.